2019 Suzuki Swift Hatchback Review. The Suzuki Swift is really a popular super mini choice inside the UK since its relaunch in 2005 being a desirable small car rather than bargain basement offering. More so the Suzuki Swift Sport, containing consistently been a front-running hot hatch because the moment it appeared. Latest news, £1,000 off a Swift Sport. Suzuki presenting three cars within the smallest car sectors, with all the Solerio and Ignis sharing showroom space with all the Swift, and yes it hopes this can be more than enough option to see off rivals, like the Ford Fiesta, Skoda Fabia and Vauxhall Corsa. With his cheeky styling, a sporty driving experience and keen prices, the Swift grabbed a strong after that continued together with the 2011 car, and, which Suzuki hopes continues with this particular iteration. It's also a distinctive offering within this sector together with the option on the all-grip 4x4 and automatic versions along the range. There's a whole lot writing about the 5th generation Swift mainly because it promises to combine the charm on the original that has a dash of sophisticated styling and technology. Watch, what's a Swift love to live with? We ran a SZ5 1.2 litre dual jet model and also a 140 horsepower sport version. Search used Suzuki Swift cars available on Suzuki Swift 2019, greater efficiency, more style. Suzuki says that it's a sportier driving option compared to the more mainstream super mini opposition. The signs are great even before you drive it. It's 10 millimeters shorter, lower, roomier inside and 120 kilograms lighter than its predecessor, while its styling is funkier, too with an increase of sculpted flanks, lead back and front lights, plus a more stylized front grille. There are two engines to be had, the 1.2-litre four-cylinder dual-jet entry-level car, and also the innovative 111-horsepower three-cylinder 1.0-litre booster jet version. This may be the star on the range, combining the state-run combined fuel consumption figure of 65.7 miles per gallon and emissions of 97 grams slash km. Without SVHS it's 61.4 miles per gallon and 104 grams slash km. There is don't a diesel version, along with the Swift Sport is promised for early 2019. Goodbye three-door, hello hybrid. One area where choice has diminished is at its body style, you no longer have the use of buying a three-door version, undeniable that might postpone younger buyers. But the rear door handles are hidden giving this Swift a little bit of three-door attitude. Unusually just for this class of car, Suzuki offers exactly what calls an SHVS mild hybrid system. What this means is there's a lithium-ion battery power beneath the passenger seat, plus it gathers energy from braking to power a compact integrated starter generator. And that boosts power when accelerating. Suzuki Swift Sport 2019 Review, Specs and Details If you desire the fastest and many well-equipped Swift on the market, the top of the range sport model is the place where the one for you personally. Powered by the punchy 140 horsepower 1.4 litre booster jet turbocharged petrol engine, it's best for a 0 to 62 miles per hour period of 8.1 seconds plus a top speed of 130 miles per hour. Cosmetic tweaks include lashings of carbon effect bodywork cadenda, 17-inch alloy wheels, remodeled front and back bumpers along with a few other additions inside cabin, including sports seats along with a sports tire. Other improvements include bigger brakes, tweaked suspension and enhanced cooling to the more potent engine. When pricing was announced for that Swift Sport in front of its the 1st of June 2019 launch date, Suzuki offered a £1,500 discount, now reduced to £1,000, for the earliest buyers. This happened round the launch with the Ford Fiesta ST, a similarly sized hot hatch that has been priced across the same lines yet offered much more performance per pound. It made the Swift Sport the recent hatch bargain the first Swift version was. Watch our driving impressions for the Suzuki Swift Sport inside buying and selling area of this review. Booster jet version is quick and fun to operate a vehicle. Excellent acceleration aided by hybrid system. Refined engine loves being driven hard. 
based on our drive on the 1.0 litre booster jet version with 111 horsepower and weighing a modest 915 kilograms, you'd be directly to expect warm hatchback quantities of performance. It carries a 0 to 62 miles per hour use of 10.6 seconds plus the maximum speed is 121 miles per hour and gear pulling power can also be reasonable as a result of a healthy 170 newton meters of torque, 160 newton meters from the auto. We just like the way it pulls at low engine speeds, and therefore you won't want to use the switch shifting 5 speed gearbox all too often to keep up using the flow. In fact, it pulls happily from walking speed up for the legal limit, just in third gear. So, there's no reason to extend it beyond 4000 revolutions per minute, although it's very happy to be revved on the red line, if that's your personal style. It cruises happily within the motorway, its refinement tied to wind in lieu of engine noise, plus town, the lighting, well-weighted controls, along with good visibility, mean it's pleasant to push in urban environments. For improved economy and emissions, the 1.0 litre and 1.2 litre engine can be spexed with Suzuki's mild hybrid SHVS system. This uses electric power to assist the swift when pulling away, gaining charge in the event the vehicle brakes. Power and gratification figures for 1.0 litre cars fitted together with the SHVS system are unchanged. Suzuki Swift 1.2 litre dual jet feels recorded on power. The cheapest engine from the Swift's lineup, the 1.2 dual jet, feels noticeably slower compared to the price of 1.0 litre. There's almost enough select driving in and across the city, but head out onto motorways or hilly A roads along with the 90 horsepower engine really sets out to struggle. Acceleration to 62 miles per hour takes 11.9 seconds from the front wheel drive version and 12.6 inside the four wheel drive car but both feel slower than the others figures suggest. And because there's this sort of dearth of meaningful oomph, the engine and gearbox must be worked exceptionally hard bringing fuel economy down significantly. The four-wheel drive system adds noticeable weight, too, so only spec it if essential. Suzuki Swift Sport delivers punchy performance. Boasting more power and much more torque versus the previous generation Swift Sport, the 2019 model feels noticeably quicker, especially during and gear acceleration. The 230 Nm of torque in the 1.4 litre booster jet engines means there's a good amount of flexibility within the car's performance, along with the 975 kg curb helps the Swift Sport onto a 0 to 62 miles per hour period of just 8.1 seconds. Outright power remains to be fairly moderate at 140 horsepower. Yet there's still enough to haul the Swift Sport along to many healthy speeds because of the opportunity. Sadly, however, regardless of the car's impressive performance, the engine isn't especially characterful and falls short with the benchmark set by the last Swift Sport. Yes, it's quick, even so the sound, power delivery and not enough much occurring near the top end from the rev range put a dampener on proceedings. Urgent feeling auto gearbox. The 6-speed automatic gearbox limited on 1.0-litre booster jet models is impressively responsive, and delivers smooth oil time changes at normal speed. However, get it onto a faster road and it also begins to struggle. Should you would like to accelerate forward while on a trip at speed, the gearbox has a hurried feeling change down, often too, to elicit any real movement, developing a frustrating experience since the transmission constantly flicks between gears. On the plus side, 0 to 62 miles per hour drops from 10.5 to 10 seconds flat, whether or not top speed drops 3 miles per hour from 121 miles per hour to 118 miles per hour. Suzuki says it's sporty, we say it's responsive. Accurate steering and tidy cornering to be had. Despite sportiness, it's not uncomfortable on poor roads. Overall, the Swift meets Suzuki's promise of a sporty drive. It's good, or longer among the most beneficial cars in their class. It's not quite as good because Ford Fiesta, and surely not far off, lacking a bit of its rival's go-kart feel. Despite being biased for handling, the ride quality might be more than acceptable, 
with merely the deepest potholes and road ruts causing problems over a spirited drive. Watch, Swift Sport's rear brake caliper positioning supposedly saves weight and improves handling. Damping is supple, rounding away from the worst on the edges, while overall cornering is on the agile variety. The steering is noteworthy due to its quick rack and lightness, although like virtually all the competitive set, you trade off road fill for overall weight and accuracy. Swift Sport Fund Drive and Automobile, although not especially sharp. Predictably, the Swift Sport takes the typical car's Alwatchy impressive handling and builds on it. Boasting bags of grip and powerful brakes, it's surprisingly rapid down a twisty country road. Of particular note may be the damping. It's not as firm nor too soft, and refers to surface imperfections well for such a tiny, light car. It's merely a shame then how the Swift Sport isn't really sharper as opposed to car it's according to. The steering, although weighted up, provides little feedback and delivers an elastic-like feel. It's inadequate to stop your vehicle from following your all's fun, however, gear drivers wanting a repeat from the more focused previous generation Swift Sport can be disappointed. Solidly made, however, many materials with a lack of quality. Good driving position and visibility. Old school infotainment system may be the biggest unhappy. Build quality is often Suzuki, good, yet not quite the most beneficial in terms of material feel. It's functional, or even quite as stylish as some rivals. It's also tightly screwed together, and you also know it'll believe way for many years to come. That said, the driving position is nice, and control layout is easy and effective. The heating and ventilation product is operated by simple centrally mounted knobs, and all on the rest on the control set is utterly conventional in the positioning. The switch gear incorporates a nice, chunky action, and feels well engineered. Finally, a thing about the infotainment system. Although it's well featured, the screen is small, the touch screen a tad unresponsive, and clunky rolling around in its response. It feels a tad aftermarket, and compared with all the slick systems supplied by its rivals, it's hard not to ever conclude it's disappointing. Swift Sport gains cabin credentials. Opt for your Swift Sport as well as the cabin differs slightly from your standard car. Additional features will include a sports tire with perforated grip, a different gear lever and pedals, red dials and trim plus supportive bucket seats. Seats are supportive this will let you good variety of adjustments. Although it's sporty inside the bends, ride quality is acceptable. Refined engine promises hushed cruising. Ride quality is above average inside the small car class. Potholes and road ruts do upset the auto's overall demeanor on rough roads, but it's better as opposed to Vauxhall Corsa and Ford Fiesta with this respect, with merely the super comfortable Citroen C3 showing the Swift a clean couple of heels. The suspension feels in tune together with the entire car, meaning larger bumps are handled reasonably well whether or not a noticeable thud is transmitted through on the cabin. The overall effect is usually a stable, tie-down feel which seems to balance comfort and handling with aplomb. Road and wind noise is obviously apparent at speed, and entails the Swift is overshadowed by many of their more refined rivals in this particular respect. Impressive standard kit across all trim levels. Top spec has said 5 car gets comprehensive equipment list. No optional equipment available about the Swift. The Swift impresses around the equipment front, offering a superb base spec and exceptional kit levels within the top with the range topping SZ5. Standard Suzuki Swift hatchback equipment. Included within the base SZ3 spec is actually the small car essentials including aircon, Bluetooth phone connectivity front electric windows and DAB digital radio. Upgrade towards the SZT trim, required to be the highest selling variant, and goodies including Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, a rear view camera, 16 inch alloy wheels and front fog lamps are included. Top spec SZ5 is when the vast majority from the fancy equipment also comes in, however. Satnav, climate control, 
LED headlamps with higher beam assist, adaptive cruise control, keyless entry, start, 16-inch alloy wheels and telescopic controls adjustment are part in the mountain of kit added to your flagship trim level. SZ5 is additionally the only spec level to feature autonomous emergency braking. Optional Suzuki Swift Hatchback Accessories Suzuki deliberately provides the Swift without any extra optional equipment, thus simplifying the process. However, customers will take their car towards the dealership and order exterior color packs, adding visual additions including stripes, colored wing mirrors and wheels. These can be purchased, fitted on the car and swapped at will. Not yet crash tested by your own cap. Expected to obtain 4 or 5 stars. Autonomous emergency braking only accessible on top spec. Although the 5th generation Suzuki Swift has not crash tested from the experts at Euroncap, vehicles expects your little friend hatchback to get 5 stars if the safety email address particulars are announced. While the typical safety kit including all-round airbags, ABS brakes and electronic stability control is standard along the whole Swift range, Autonomous emergency braking is frustratingly restricted towards the range topping SZ5 models. Watch, our Swift Sport Long Term has some rather sensitive safety systems. Referred to by Suzuki as dual sensor brake support, it's going to attempt to avoid the car if the impending collision is detected from 3 miles per hour to 62 miles per hour. It's a helpful bit of safety kit and may even save your life someday. Hence why SZ3 and SZT spec cars won't achieve as high a safety rating because the flagship SZ5 car. Not that any of us would recommend it unless it's necessary for where you live in Britain, even so the Swift's available too with Suzuki's all-grip four-wheel drive system. In many instances, most Swift drivers can be served just as well which has a regular front-wheel drive model fitted with winter tyres. Watch. Suzuki Swift Euro and Cap Crash Test Video Passenger M is competitive using its super mini rivals. Boot bigger than last model, however not class leading. Noticeably lower seating position than before. Although the Swift is shorter than before, it's also roomier inside, on account of having a longer wheelbase. So you find more legroom and on account of lower mounted seats which make you a more inclined driving position than before, there's more headroom front and back. Journeys with three adults inside the back should be kept short, but there's enough legroom and overall cabin width to present rear passengers a surprisingly comfortable environment. Note however that rear electric windows are just available about the top spec SZ5 model. There's a powerful range of cubbies and cup holders from the front cabin, too regardless of whether the material surrounding them does feel somewhat cheap. The boot capacity is 265 litres, that's 54 litres up from before, but it's no class leader. It carries a high loading lip, that produces putting heavy objects in many difficult PC needs to be. If you desire the roomiest, grab a Skoda Fabia, Dacia Sandero or Curio.